What's up, everybody? My name is Smoke. I'm with Smoke Arts and Moonray Studios. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a simple visual novel in a little software called Tyranno Builder. You can get it for $15 on Steam. So go ahead and grab that if you don't have it now. And let's jump into the tutorial. All right. So in this episode, I'm going to show you guys how to set up a scene. We're going to make the project, we're going to set up a scene, and we're going to do some basic like text boxes and stuff. So once you open the project, uh, forgive me, once you open the Tyranno Builder, the software, hit new project on the left. We're going to do YouTube tutorial as our name. Hit next. This is where you determine your game type. I believe a sound novel is like just text and the story is told through sound and sound design, but we're not going for that. We're going for a visual novel, which is composed of a background, a character element, and a text box. Hit next. We're going to do landscape because that's what the default tutorial assets have. Uh, that's what they fit to properly. And then we're, you have your game settings, which is going to be your title screen and your menu button options. I want them both, so I'm going to leave these unchecked and I'm going to create a new project. And once we're in the project, you have your workspace. So what I'm going to show you guys here is how to set up a scene, uh, import your characters, all that good stuff, make them talk, blah, blah, blah. And uh, I'll cover more complicated things in the next video. But so where we're going to start here is I'm going to introduce you to the app, like the workspace and the assets. So if you hit the play button, your game window pops up and you have new and load game. We have no data but this is your load screen you can hit back new game it starts you at scene one scene one cannot be deleted this scene is here to stay um this is what's going to basically introduce your game so on the left here you have the creme de la creme this is what makes the engine tick which is your components and you have story effects screen effects you'll learn what all these do as we go along messages media video backdrop 3d camera system and scripting so i'm not going to go through all of these obviously in the first video what we're mostly going to focus on is text uh wait times uh hide and unhide screen stuff like that characters let's see where's the uh characters so yeah, we're going to be working with the most basic of basic assets here. So when we hit play earlier and then we hit new game, we had a page break. We had this background show up. We had a text box, which this is OK, right. So this is just a command. This is going to tell your text to actually show up. If you don't have this, this tech, if you don't have this purple, this pink uh, component will not show up. So this is what we saw. Hello, this is a new game. Stop. So that's what happened. We had our text box uh, still there, but the flow of text stopped. So what we're going to do is for, you know, demonstration purposes, if you go on the right side in this little kind of properties panel, you can browse your images. And I want our scene to start in the hallway. And I want to put a character here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my assets tab uh, to the right of my components tab. I'm going to go to characters in the middle. Characters. This is our character database. So I'm going to create a character since we have none and I'm going to make myself. And then I have to actually assign an image to it. And I will cover expressions here uh, later. But I'm going to go get my PNG real quick and then we'll jump back into it. So now that I loaded up my PNG, we are going to hit the X button and then go back to components. And then we will have, I believe it's, let's see, is it character join? Yes, join scene. So background image will come in. We will have a join scene component. And in the properties panel, you set who it is, which will be me. You can browse your image, which will be this one. So the images themselves in that little, uh, in this little place, like where you make your character, 
This is more like a database and this stores their expressions. So actually I'm gonna put those in so I can show you how to do those. So basically all I did was import my PNG tubers like faces and stuff. Um, and so now that's in the database. So, but I'm going to use her default, which is uh, open eyes and a closed mouth. So open eye, closed mouth. That's my conventional, my naming convention. Um, then we're going to go to the position tool. So I believe you can resize. Yep, you can resize in the window, which is awesome. I, I am a visual learner, I'm a visual developer. I like being able to see my stuff. So I can't really see my window here though. It's not really like giving me much to work with. For, my laptop is really stupid and for some reason, it like moves windows. So she might not be perfectly <laughs> on there, uh, but she's on there. So you can manually adjust uh, via the numerical value or you can use the positioning tool. I like the positioning tool because I can actually see it and then you hit accept. And uh, you can also flip your image here and the duration in milliseconds, this is the like fade in essentially as to how long it takes the character to come in. And now we're going to, we have a show text component already. So I'm going to make her say something. I'm going to say, hey, what's up, YouTube family? And then you can just hit enter. This is smoke. So this is two lines. So what happens is if we run our game, we're going to go to our new game. There I am. Hey, what's up, YouTube family? This is Smoke. So as you can tell, uh, a break in the line here, like if you hit enter, gives you a triggerable line of the next dialogue. If you don't want to go through the entire menu every single time, by the way, you don't have to hit this button because this button is going to run your entire game. You can actually run the scene itself and that'll start you past whatever like precurses it. So I am going to, just because it's it's pissing me off a little bit. <laughs> I'm gonna lower her because I want her to sit on the rim like a normal visual novel. That's close enough. It just, it looks, it, she looked like she was floating. So yeah, that is how you do a basic uh, background, character popping up, and then the character having dialogue. There is a way to assign a name tag to it. I think I'll cover that in the next video. I'm trying to keep these short and to the point. So to do a intro scene and put a background, a character and text in, you have scene one, page break, background image, join scene, show text, the text itself, and stop. If you want to Let's see, where is that? It's a purple node. So you can also remove the text, hit save up in the right hand corner and our scene will play. Hey, what's up YouTube family? This is smoke and it'll go away. So we have just our beautiful art and visuals here. So in the next tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys how to make assets. We're gonna go over how to do backgrounds, how to make uh, transparent character PNGs like the character that I inserted here. And then we'll go through a bit more story progression. So I hope that helped you guys. I'll see you guys in episode two. This is Smoke and I'll catch you guys later.